Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Um, someone asked me to do a Libra reading and I actually had you guys on my mind to do. So um, I'm going to go ahead and do a Libra reading, okay? So let's see what's going on with Libra for December. How are you guys doing? Um, sun, moon, rising, Venus, Jupiter, and uh, seventh house placements, okay? So I'm going to start off with the Mystic Moon Oracle as I usually do. It's going to come with Libra and their current counterpart situation or their soul journey. Got inner child, which that was also Sagittarius as well. Solitude, pause, and barrier, okay? So I feel like you guys might have hit a wall with something and you decided to, you can go your own way. I've always been doing the music thing, but lately it's just like everything is turning into a song in my head. Um, so I feel like you guys, I don't know why, but you started to go your own way. You started to do a lot of like soul seeking. I have big dreams here pride and ego I feel like there might be something you're like holding back a little bit because you just don't want to reveal all your cards but you decided to just take a breather with the pause and the solitude here okay I feel like you just decided to really like um gain your own center you felt like maybe you were dealing with someone that had like they were kind of egotistical and you just didn't want to deal with it anymore um, and you wanted to focus on your dreams here. You could also be dealing with a Pisces or Cancer when I see the moon. Um, also, there could be things coming up in your dreams that are guiding you in the direction that you feel like you should go. I'm going to explore more what this barrier is about, but I do feel like it has to do with someone who just wouldn't let their wall down and you just kind of felt like you were tired of knocking on the same door, okay? It's very strange like when you do these readings and you're, um, you just get messages like based on the cards, but when you're tired like I am right now, it's kind of like it just flows through you and you don't even think, you don't even know where the messages are coming. So it's actually more kind of organic right now. But um, I see a dark night of the soul and winter, okay? So I feel like someone you, you're dealing with or it could be you is kind of going through um, a dark kind of period but I see like a lot of hibernation energy here in general it could be both of you you guys could both be like reclusive right now but I feel like if someone is kind of like putting up a wall it's because they're going through something very dark and they just don't feel like they can have anyone by their side in this journey um, but I also feel like something could really be happening significant in the winter time with this winter so it could be the next few months okay I feel like you guys are going to transition out of this dark night of the soul you're going to figure it out but for right now I just feel like you need a lot of space and it might even be from people that are close to you okay and they might feel the same way I mean you don't always know what other people are going through and you assume that they want something from you but maybe they also are going through a dark night of the soul and they want space as well so I'm going to pull from the tarot of sexual magic I didn't use these in my last readings yesterday, but I was feeling spicy this morning. So let's see what we can get from the Tarot of Sexual Magic for Libra, okay? We've got Two of Wands, okay? Three of Cups, King of Wands reversed, and... Eight of Cups reverse. Now, I don't always do reversals, but sometimes I feel called to leave them and I'm going to leave them because I feel like this is um, pertinent to the message that I want to deliver. Uh, with the Two of Wands reverse, I feel like you guys could be dealing with um, two different people, two different ro potential roads. There's a decision, though, that has to be made. You're kind of standing at a fork in the road, okay? There also could be some sort of like communication with someone that needs to be had. I don't always say that with two of wands, but with this specific card, it seems like two minds kind of coming together or two, you know, people needing to connect in some way or really kind of hash it out. Okay. So I feel like that could be what's going on. This three of cups is very, um, is a lot of intimacy here. Okay. A lot of which is weird because I don't, there's not even a third person, um, but I feel like this is about connecting. Also, I'm, I'm getting a feeling about a need to connect, okay? Um, I still feel like there's some barrier there, but 
with this card it's very telling just the picture of really wanting to be close to someone really wanting to emotionally connect and when we have the cups it's all about like emotional connection so it could be um someone that's like a part of your friendship tribe circle or the people that you're surrounded by because three is like usually not like a partnership but more so um you know like uh a circle of people or something like that but it could be that someone in your circle is desiring you or you're desiring someone in your circle okay now with the king of wands reversed i feel like um so this is fire sag aries or leo some people see it as um just like a very strong leo energy but um I feel like someone was sort of like in their negative aspect of the fire sign energy. So they might have been very aggressive. They might have been very hasty with their actions. They might have um, really acted impulsively. They weren't in control of their impulses. They weren't really in control of anything. They just kind of did things that were very reckless. Okay. And so um, I feel like that's what's caused you guys to feel like you have to make a decision about something or. Um, you're at a fork in the road and that might also be why you became like very reclusive I do feel like if this person walked away though with this eight of cups reversed that they're going to turn around and do an about face or change their mind or this could be you okay um just trying to look at the image here yeah I feel this is like another thing about like making amends kind of um creating like good positive romantic loving energy where there was once sort of like a cold energy so i feel like if there was a sag aries or leo that walked away from you i feel like they're going to return um and i feel like you guys are going to make amends okay so um i feel like this period of like indecision it might feel like you have to make a decision but it also might be on the other person to initiate some sort of connection and cross through that barrier okay got ten of swords reverse that's the same thing i'm getting but these okay okay wow that's so weird because when i pulled the two of wands i also was thinking about the two of cups and now i got it so i feel like this person you're dealing with is definitely a soulmate you guys definitely have a connection regardless of what has happened in the past i feel like there was a betrayal there was um someone really stabbed you in the back with this ten of swords reverse but this reverse as well as the eight of cups reverse is telling me that it's going to be revived what was once kind of killed and dead a connection that you feel like couldn't be revived is going to be revived because you guys have this eye to eye look this is the two of cups and the two of wands i feel like you guys are going to have a conversation you're maybe going to run into them you're going to see them and you guys are going to remember the connection that you once had okay so that's really beautiful um, I see the Ace of Cups reversed here, so I feel like there's a little bit of a hesitation on your part to open your heart and to trust this person again. I feel like they really messed you up and your heart has been kind of closed, so you guys are a little bit reluctant to allow them back in. So let's see what else we got here from Signs from Spirit. Intuitive, spiritual, and self-aware, okay? So follow your intuition, you know, trust yourself uh white purity safety innocence and light so i feel like this is saying you're safe in this dynamic whatever happens to trust it trust yourself surround yourself with white light and know that you're being protected by your angels and that nothing can go wrong here and everything's happening the way it's supposed to okay so i've got eggs incubation which is sort of like um i don't know this i see this as like a very springtime energy but this also could mean like Things are just kind of in an incubation period right now, so they haven't hatched yet. The connection hasn't moved forward, but I feel like eventually it will. So it's a lot about timing and just waiting for the right time, okay? And then I've got unlock key, all right? So I kind of feel like this person is the person that unlocks the like your heart. So even though your heart's been closed, maybe it's been closed to other people, I feel like this person has the key to open your heart okay so this ace of cups reverse i feel like this has kind of been everyone else and i feel like there is a key and this person holds it if they can make the right attempt with you then um you know you guys will be open so i'm gonna pull from the twin flame shadows and see what is holding this person back okay i've got a warning 
I've got a judgmental and I've got a stagnant. Yeah, I feel like right now things are very stagnant and there is that barrier and it is the, in the incubation period. Um, I feel like don't necessarily show all your cards. I feel like the Ace of Cups is also like a warning. Reverse is like a warning to tell you to don't necessarily open your heart fully. Don't show everything that you're feeling because this person always like jumps to like a judgmental aspect and you don't want to reveal too much of yourself because then they're going to like maybe use it against you or, you know, not, it just won't work out well. And you also just don't trust them based on this tennis swords in the past and eight of cups so i feel like they left you and now you're kind of really guarded about whether you want to let them back in which makes sense so i'm going to pull from the twin flame messages volume two and see what this person's higher self wants to communicate to you okay what does this person want to say to libra Karma is a bitch and I finally got mine. A lot of signs are pointing to you lately. I'm sorry I held myself back with you, okay? So I feel like this person had a lot of things happen that were like lessons that made them realize what they did to you. And, um, you know, also when I pull the judgmental card, always remember when you're dealing with someone that's judgmental, they're usually very judgmental to themselves as well like their inner critic is probably just as strong as the way they criticize you so I feel like they're really beating themselves up right now and they're like shit like I finally realized what I did even though they might not be showing it to you okay I'm sorry I held myself back with you so I feel like they don't always reveal themselves this person they're always kind of like guarded and they never want to I think they also feel like you might be judgmental if they open themselves up. So there's like a hesitation on both of your guys' part. But a lot of signs are pointing to you lately. So they might be hearing songs. They might be smelling scents. They might be seeing people that look like you or seeing like, um, you know, significant um, things that you guys share together. Like it just maybe there was um, something very nostalgic about winter. Maybe you guys had a lot of memories around this time. So I feel like there's something that's like making them continuously think about you. And they're also thinking a lot about their actions. So I feel like this person's definitely coming back. I don't always say that, but with the eight of cups reversed and the 10 of swords reversed, I feel like there was like um, an ending that's now going to be kind of like revived. So Libra, that's the message I have for you. Thanks for tuning in. I'll see you guys next time. Bye.